Andrew S. I'd like to give a big shout out to Bob Cobb and Pastor Jim Doctor for letting us review this vehicle today. So if we just do a quick walk around, you can you can see I'm these are the you have LED daytime running lights with halo with, with um, um, halogen projectors and halogen reflector turn signals. Um, HIDs are available as an option. Here you have, I do believe, these 21 inch these 21 inch wheels. Under the hood is a 3.6 liter, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. If you do come around here to the back, you can see here's your backup camera and here's your button to open the actual trunk. For a full-size SUV, I do think that this trunk is very big. Underneath, underneath is your spare tire and your battery. And then you also have your poor release lever for any, if anyone's ever tapped in the trunk. Let's go ahead and take a look on the interior. Obviously, we are inside a showroom, so there, of course, will be some noise. Um, it is push button. It is push button start. You do see you have your paddle shifters, your paddle shifters, because it is the S package. You have your automatic headlights. You do have your automatic headlights, and you over here you have your um your window switches. Your mirror is not power folding. I do believe are available on the higher trim. Here you do have your rotary shift, your rotary shift dial. If we can go ahead, put the car in its accessory mode. You do have a tilt and tilt as in telescoping. You do have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Yes, Chrysler. I know. So over here. You just have all your vehicle info. It's right now beeping because my um my seat belt is on. You can see you have your coolant temperature, your transmission temperature, your oil temperature, your oil pressure, and your oil life, um, and your battery voltage, and yeah. So then, here, um, you do have your speed on, your digital speedometer, and all these other features. Over here, you have your 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen, very famous. Um, you have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you have your media, your all your climate controls. Um, it has a heated, heated, um, heated, um, your heated driver driver seats and your dimming mirror, auto dimming mirror. Here you have your Uconnect apps, your mirror dimmer, Uconnect manager, your heated seats, your Wi-Fi hotspot. I can't connect up to ten devices, but it's through AT and T. Your controls, your phone, your setting, and your audio settings. Um, here you have your phone connect, your phone connection slash pairing. Um, here is where all your settings where you can change language, display, um, display, unit, voice, clock, camera. You can come to the camera. You can act. You can ask it for to delay. So when you shift in reverse, it delays. Or you can just do active. You can just um, set it to come on immediately, and you can also set up the guidelines. Um, yeah, but this is just your regular your standard 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen. Nothing special about it. I mean, you got your, all your climate controls, your heated seats. Yeah, and another thing I love about this Uconnect system is that you can take, like, if you lo if I love um, turning on the passenger seat, I can always put the passenger seat down here. And if I love turning on the driver's seat, I can always, like, if, okay. If I want the app manager, I can always turn that down. And it's basically working like a smartphone. Here you have your volume. Here, here you have your, your volume. And you also have your screen off button. And you can touch the screen to turn it on. Your mute, your hazards, your sport mode. So you can see now it's in sport mode. And I think it does turn off the traction control. And here you have your traction control and your, and your tuner knob. Um, down here you have all your um, air controls. Down here you have all your air controls, your rear ventilation and recirculation. Let's turn off those wipers. So 
So then down here you have your ready shift dial with a nice cubby compartment with your um, 12 volt power outlet down there. Um, here you have your Chrysler key fob. You have your lo unlock, lock, um, trunk button, remote start with your panic button. This does have a less better feeling than in the Pacifica. In the Pacifica, I do feel like the key fob has a way better feeling. Back here, I'm glad to announce it has the rear sunshade. I think. Oh. This is your this is your sunroof controls. And you can just hold that down and that will cover up all of your sunroof. It's just a little roller. Cover up your sunroof. But I do believe when you open it it gives a better view. You can vent the sunroof or open it all the way. You can see here you have your little, your little wind deflector and then you can just auto, um, clo auto close that. So, yeah, I mean, over here you have your light controls. These are also on the LED. You have your garage home link, which is hopefully not turning on anyone's garage. Um, you have the sunglasses holder. Now we're going to do the virus test, the straight pipes virus test. Straight pipes, if you're watching this, I love your videos. The visor test is basically to see if it will block out the sun or not. Oh, so FCA really went the extra step. They made it extend. We have a little, we have a little cubby back there, whichever one you prefer. Whichever one you prefer. So, yeah, I mean, you have your cruise controls, your paddle shifter, your paddle shifters, and all of that jazz. Over here, you have your glove, your glove box. With your Chrysler, um, with your Chrysler, your pencil information guide with your mill power ports. Um, it does have four-way lumbar controls with a power passenger and driver's seat. Now we're gonna go ahead and take. We're gonna go ahead and take a look in the back. You see, plenty of headroom, plenty of knee room. Um, it is very comfortable inside here. In the middle here, you do see that you have a little storage compartment with your cup holders, and you also have your little air vents with two USB outlets. Um, base, and then you also have your little, you have your little window switcher. Let's go outside and take a look at the window sticker. So here we have the window sticker for this particular vehicle. You can see that this particular model that we reviewed today does have a total MSRP price of $39,785. Um, obviously, if you come down to Bow Caldwell, they'll be, be happy to give you $9,000 off. Um, you can see it does have um, some extra features like the Alpine stereo system. Like I said, under the hood is a um, is a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine that does provide you 19 city and 30 highway. If you do choose the all-wheel drive option, I do believe it jumps to 18 city, 25 highway. Um, you can see here you have your crash rating score, um, your crash rating scores. It does have a five-year, 60,000 miles powertrain warranty with a three-year or 36,000 miles bumper to bumper warranty. Anyway, thank you for watching and make sure you like and subscribe.